Hello fellow toy collectors, it's your man D, long time no see. Yeah, unfortunately, as I posted on my bulletin on my channel, just technical issues, sideline production of Devastator XL. Had three, uh, had four episodes in the can. Managed to put one of those was what was the uh, last one, uh, the Wind Charger episode. Um, but uh, three of them that was supposed to come right after that, they got lo they were lost. So unfortunately, and uh, one of them was like a really involved review, like kind of like my old my uh, episode two's video game review. I was doing another review and lost that. So long story short, got to redo them. But hey, they'll look better than ever before. Um, <laughs> Not to brag, <laughs> but um, I just decided to put together this haul video just to show you guys, uh, well, I'm not dead yet, and just to show off some of the stuff I've gotten uh, since I've been away. Uh, well, let's get this thing started. Bam, G.I. Joe. Uh, it's kind of like that older living color thing, probably dating myself there too. Uh, uh, from G.I. Joe, Pursuit of Cobra. Uh, yep. Steel Brigade, the G.I. Joe Army Builder. I'm so glad that this guy didn't. He wasn't like a special release or convention figure or anything like that. But this guy is awesome. Um, glad that finally got. Glad that we finally got an official one. Glad that it's at wide release. Um, Cause I know for the longest, uh, myself and other G.I. Joe fans were using the Rise of Cobra Pit Commando as like the placeholder for a Steel Brigade Trooper. Uh, I actually got two of these. One's out, you know, being reviewed. So, uh, but yeah, um, no, no more Pit Commando, and did definitely have to hold an official Steel Brigade Trooper in my hands. Yeah, Pit Commando sucks. I'm so glad I got rid of them when I sold my collection. Um, I'll probably get six of these, because, uh, well, I'm trying to cut back on my army building, my excessive army building I used to do. So six will suffice. But, uh, yeah, he looks, he looks pretty awesome. Um, also, managed to pick up four. Let me try to get them all nice together here. Managed to pick up four of these. One's out for review, of course. Um, but these will soon be out of package and on my display. The Cobra Blue Shirt, Cobra Trooper. It's like the main, the backbone of the Cobra Forces. Uh, this guy looks great. Great update. I like him better than the 25th slash Modern Era version. Uh, I even like him more than the, uh, I like him more than the Resolute Blue, uh, the Resolute Blue Shirt, who I thought was like the pen you know the epitome of the cobra trooper the ultimate cobra trooper but no i like the uh, pursuit of cobra version way better and just i mean seriously man if pursuit of cobra is going to keep this up this this cool this cool style man they can keep it going <laughs> i don't want any funky style changes or anything like that pursuit of cobra man it's like yeah, I'm really feeling this stuff. So uh, I left the other ones. I didn't really want any of the other ones from the wave. They had all of them. I just passed on them. Uh, Crockmaster Blowtorch. I didn't really feel that they were different enough from the uh, original 25th releases to warrant me buying them. Um, and just Crockmaster is just a weird choice. But I will get those running variants for those that'll be coming out soon. So they'll be like a red and black Python Patrol uh, Crockmaster, and they'll be like a uh, a Blowtorch that's like in green and a muted kind of yellow. And that's based on his. Uh, that was based on concept art that they had pulled out for him. Uh, he was yeah. He wasn't this, he wasn't sniper bait at first, which I thought was funny. So I'll be getting those variants, but uh, I'll have to wait for those because they'll be like a running change. Um, but yeah, these are awesome. Oh but yeah, uh, the Cobra the Cobra Commander just one not really feeling that the Hawk. I thought he looked. I thought it looked more like Spark. So I might get it again. I might get it if I find it again. And he'll be Sparks, but I just like my 1986, uh, I like my 1986 inspired General Hawk. I don't know why. Um, and the Jungle Bat. I mean, I like bats, but not in camouflage. Not, not at least in that camo. Uh, they look like they were more like GI Joe bats or something. At any rate, um, from well, I'll just hold this one. Let me jump. Let me jump from GI Joe to Marvel real quick. Uh, where is that Apocalypse? Here we go. It's extra apocalypse, but I actually got the whole wave, Marvel Universe Series Three Wave Thirteen. Yes, I finally got it. Um, if you want to read a review, my in-depth review for it, you can check out my official blog for Devastator XL at dmark.us. That's d-e-hyphen-mark.us. I know that's like an awesome, sort of like a pretty witty uh, web address, isn't it? <laughs> At any rate. Uh, yeah, I got an in-depth review. I know it's not as great as a video review, but it's pretty in-depth, and you just get to find, just get to read my opinion on it. But um, 
Uh, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna do a, a, a video review of Wave 13 because so many of you guys did great reviews, and we all know it's awesome. They're awesome, but um, I like them. I like them. Uh, it was just a, uh, it was unfortunate I had to wait so long, but you know what? I'm grateful anyway. So, uh, and this this line this wave was definitely worth waiting for. I mean, uh, hands down. Um, what it was in my area was just those those damn revision cases with the peg warmers. You know, it was nice to be able to get you know Sunfire and all those characters that a lot of people missed out on but um it just kinda sucked because the peg warmers were left over and they were blocking these from getting put out um so yep got wave 13 all of them uh like I said they're on display right now and I don't want to pull them all down but uh yep got wave 13 and now bring on wave 14 hopefully I don't have to wait too super long for those also on the Marvel thing Yes, Kmart exclusive International Patriot set. Captain America, Captain Britain, and uh, the Red Guardian. Uh, Captain Britain and the Red Guardian are exclusive, so you definitely got to get these. Uh, definitely got to get this case to get these. Um, unfortunately, um, I don't have a Kmart in my area, and so I went on eBay to try to find these guys separately. Man, the, those rat bastard <laughs> scalpers, man. Uh, they were charging 15 bucks each. I hate when they break the case, they break the pack, and they they do that. I hate when they do that. They take the more desired figures, jack up the price. It's just stupid. Um, didn't have a Kmart in my area. Did not want to get gouged, do the old eBay thing. So what did I do? Went to Kmart.com. They actually had the uh, exclusive there for order. Got it for a pretty good price, 26 bucks shipped. I'm happy. So um, might be doing a review on those pretty soon. Uh, but I might just take these out of the package and just be done with it. <laughs> I'm really happy getting these. And uh, Chap316 actually does, does a really good review on these. So definitely check his channel out to check out his review on these. Okay, back to G.I. Joe and Ross. Went to Ross, found this. The Steel, uh, Steel Marauder mobile mech suit comes with Kickstarter. Little story about this: uh, When I sold, like, sold off my GI Joe collection, so I could buy like more uh, the gear that I actually shoot my uh, shoot Devastator X down everything on, edit on. Um, Kickstart, oddly enough, he was a new figure, but he was one of the quickest to go. I mean, right up there with uh, Best of the '80s Alpine <laughs> and San Diego Comic Con. Both of my slaughters I had loose. I had I had two loose. You know, I had both variants loose. You know, for display, and I had some on card and I ended up selling those it was, it was great money but oh man I had the worst case of selling the Morris after the Alpine after the uh, 2008 2009 the second five pack Baroness and uh, the sellers remorse but at any rate I really wanted kickstart again because I thought he was a cool figure I, just, I hated the Mac because I like more of the realistic stuff so I hate stuff like sci-fi Macs and stuff but I always thought kickstart even for a Franken figure Frank and Joe, you know, all these mismatched parts. I thought he was a good figure. It, it, the color and just everything brought everything together. So, um, after I sold, I wanted to get him back, but I looked online for him separately, once again, and he's like, 15 bucks up. Come on, people. Really? <laughs> really? Um, you know, and I was not about to pay 15 bucks for uh, for Kickstart. Nah, hell no. <laughs> so, um, but he just wasn't in my area. So, it was like, damn. Uh, so one day, recently, walked into a Ross, found this for the paltry sum of seven ninety nine. Yeah, eight bucks. You know, I'll definitely pay. I'm definitely glad to pay eight bucks for just really just wanting to get that figure. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the mech. Probably like customs or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so Ross, the mech suits seven ninety nine. Definitely a good buy there. Uh, now. In keeping with Ross, man, us G.I. Joe fans and some Star Wars fans, we know Ross as like, you know, Ross has a reputation but uh, amongst collectors, but Ross also has a reputation as a haven for like canceled stuff, uh, stuff that you thought that was only available online. I mean, in, you know, last year, man, or was it year before last? I don't know. But uh, most recently, man, Ross has just been, was knocking it out of the park when it came from for cancel stuff, you know, with the whole uh, defense of Cobra Island seven packs, the attack and defense, that was just that blew me away. That was amazing. Um, it helped me build my Alley Viper collection, <laughs> uh, but that was awesome. 
And in continuing with that, Ross actually got the hands. It was a big story about a week and a half, two weeks ago when it dropped. Ross actually has that canceled wave of uh, Reveal the Shield figures with like uh, Wind Charger especially. That's the big one, Wind Charger. Um, they, they have it. And like the, uh, the Scout class figures, like Wind Charger, is, uh, are uh, $4.99. Five bucks. There's no excuse to get gouged on eBay for the $45, 60 bucks that they are trying to charge you know, from the ones that were from Canada and the UK and everything. Uh, I would say definitely get your ass down to Ross and, and check it out for yourself and see what you can get. Um, luckily, I walked into Ross and I found these two. Yes, that's Solar Storm Grapple and Lug Nut. Uh, they also have Deep deep Dive and Strafe as well. But um, I found these here, these two Voyagers, for, get this man, $9.99 each. Yeah, $9.99 each. Two Voyagers essentially for the price of one, you know, everywhere else, retail. You can't beat that. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, come on. Don't worry about the badass kids there that always seem to wreck the toy aisle that you gotta you know you gotta swat out the way to get the good stuff don't worry about that take your ass to Ross <laughs> if you want some of this good transformer stuff man I mean really two for the price of one uh, cuz you know the funny thing was I was actually sweating this that I didn't get these on HasbroToyShop.com and I was almost about to get grapple just grapple for like 30, 30 bucks off of eBay. I know, you know, I always preach against eBay, but you know, I was really, you really sweating it because I really wanted Grapple. Um, so I was really happy to find these at Ross, $9.99 each, man. That's that's awesome. So, yes, definitely reveal the shield. They also have uh, that last wave with a cup, uh, with cup, and um, more, uh, more importantly, that Red Guard that everyone had a hard time finding. They have Red Guard too, so. Don't get gals, man. Respect your money. Man, times are hard. And even if you're well off, man, just save your damn money. Don't feed the collecting trolls, I guess, <laughs> I guess with the scalpers. Uh so let's wrap this uh let's wrap this up with uh not necessarily a haul, but it's a custom that I recently completed. Uh Space Ghost. Yes, Marvel Universe Space Ghost. Real quick, made him out of a uh He's mostly a uh, Marvel Universe Sentry, just repainted with some uh, custom sculpting on it. The head comes from a, uh, I actually did a custom cast of a Captain Britain, a, a Marvel Universe Captain Britain. Modded the head a bit. Uh, custom sculpting on his bands, on his power bands there and his belt. And mostly a repaint. And for those who don't, uh, for those for those who customize, they know what I'm, they, they know what I, know what I'm, know what I'm saying here, man. Uh, to color a figure all white, white for some reason is one of the harder colors to, to do on a custom. I think I did pretty good. If I say, may, may say so myself, uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, so, Space Ghost custom, Marvel Universe Wave 13, GI Joe tro Troop Builders, International Patriots set, Steel Marauder. Who cares about the Steel Marauder? Got Kickstart. Lug Nuts, Solo Storm Grapple. That's my haul, everybody. Thanks for watching. New Devastator episodes, New Devastator XL episodes coming soon. And if you want to check out my review on the Marvel Universe Wave 13 on my official blog, check out d markus D Marcus. I know that's a cool web address, right? Alright, well, thanks for watching, and uh, y'all have a good time collecting out there.